Okay, so that's the equation for the substrate. But what if we want to change it such that, like, maybe the inlet concentration x not is not zero? Well, let's try and see what happens. You don't really see this in practice, but I'm just thinking, what if there was a way to make the math a little bit more challenging? You could do this. S not x not, and that outlet will have S and x, and it's the same thing, same flows, all of that. Well, the thing is, is that we found earlier, and it still applies, um, that unit equals d1 minus x not over x, and you can see that just reduces to d um, when when it gets simplified, when x not is zero, it just simplifies back down. And yeah, what actually we can do is this equation is also the same regardless of what growth equation you do because it's just stoichiometry. You know the yield difference in substrate and then you add x not here. So that's easy. Um, so now what you can actually do is we had before this so we got this from just rearranging the Contois equation and and if kd equals zero we'll get u g equals u net so then we can just replace those u treats with u net Okay, and then we replace those with the d's. You know the d um, equation that's in terms of unit. So it's not too bad when we have the results from before. And if you don't know what I'm doing, just look at the chemostat question that I was practicing um, with the Monad equation. I just go out through how you can derive derive that unit equation here. And yeah, you just substitute that in for, see this d part is just unit, and then the denominator will do that too. Okay. And yeah, that's it. I mean, you can simplify it further, I don't think you'd want to, because the x over there, it's so messy. But yeah, you can substitute in the x values. Um, but it'll still be in terms of s, but you, it's going to be really messy to rearrange this uh, explicitly. Instead we'll just leave it implicitly. So those are the two equations you'll have. You have one for x, which is always the same, and then you'll have this one for s. And and then we can think about it a step further. What if what if kd is not zero? We'll just use the same equations as before. And before what we had was x equal, well I mean not all the equations are the same, but this one will be the same. Because once you derived it once, it, it just always, like again it's just based off the stoichiometry by definition. Okay. Okay, so we have that equation, and, and and really what you can just do is, you can just uh, get the substrate concentration from before, you, you, we had, we had uh, this and we replaced it with unit, but then if, if we account for the other one, then ug equals unit plus kd, they're not equal to each other, if kd is not zero, the maintenance coefficient. So then we'll get, when we substitute in that equation, a 
and then we can substitute in what we found for unit earlier. So then let's just say s equals that constant plus well times x oops so I forgot the KD so now you'll be getting a KD inside of this inside of the arguments and yeah, that's it in terms of s. Again, it's implicit because x is here, and x itself is also a function of s, like over here. So, yeah. But otherwise, you'll see that once you've solved uh, these kinds of equations with the Monod equation, now we can replace those growth equations with other things like the Contois equation. And you just use the same steps. Um, the mass balances are, for the most part, the same. It's only when you plug in the gross specific rate, which is ug, only then, when you substitute that in, then you're substituting in the growth equation, but otherwise, most of the stuff remains the same. I hope this helps you out.